I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make $200 per day from Max Bounty. So let's get started. And what's up guys, I'm James and welcome to Money Hustle, the best place to be if you're looking for great new ways to hustle and make money online. And if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on other great videos just like this one. And today we're going to be setting up a campaign on AdWords for this Max Bounty offer. Now, this might seem like a straightforward task, but Google can be a little bit tricky and there's a few points that if you mess up and you click the wrong box, uh, you'll end up wasting your budget on junk traffic that doesn't convert. So if you want to run a successful campaign that makes money, you're going to want to watch this video to the end. Anyway, so this is the offer that we're going to be working with today. Uh, there's a few reasons why I chose this one. Specifically, number one, it's got $100 per lead. Uh, which is really good uh, number two is it's approved for there's no cap so it doesn't matter how many sales you make you make as many as you want and number three it's pretty much open to almost all countries okay these are the only countries that are excluded if your country that you're marketing to is in this list and it's not going to work if not it's perfectly fine but you don't have to use this offer you can pick any offer you want from any affiliate network it's up to you um, what you're going to take away from this video mostly is just how to properly set up a campaign on Google Ads, okay? So what I want you to do first is I want you to go to Google Ads and you're gonna to wanna to sign in. Okay, and once you've logged in, you should see a screen similar to this. Uh, it'll have a list of any campaigns that you are running. Uh, what you wanna do first, you wanna find wherever it says add new campaign or if there's a blue circle with a plus in it, like a button, click on that. That's gonna add a new campaign. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna select the goal of this campaign. Uh, I prefer to go without guidance, but if you want to pick one of these, it's up to you. Next thing you want to do is you want to select the campaign type. Uh, for this video, we're going to be working with search, so I'm going to click on search. And next thing you want to do is you want to select um, what kind of results, what are you looking for. Uh, for this one here, we want website visits, so we're going to select website visits. And next thing you have to do is put in the URL for your website or your landing page. And for this video, we're going to be using this one here that I just created real quickly. Um, it's just a basic landing page that basically talks a little bit about cool handling and everywhere on here, they can only click and go to the affiliate offer. Okay, so it tries to pre-sell them on it, a little bit of a uh, sense of urgency, some features and an easy button for them to get started. So this is the one we're going to use. I'll just copy this URL. And then I just paste it in there. Uh, this URL may or may not work. I'm not sure. I've never just used it with a plain one. Normally what I do is I'll install it, um, you know, I'll add a page like one of a landing page on a website I have and then she use that. But we'll just run it from there and we'll see if it goes through. If not, then we'll add it to the website there and use that link. Next thing you have to do is set up your campaign settings. So you want to give your campaign a name. So it can be whatever you want. So this one is uh, Cool Handle and we'll call it Tutorial. Now, this is very important here, guys. Uh, this is one of the places where Google tries to trick you and basically sell you on junk traffic. You do not want a uh, search network or display network, okay? Do n you do not want that, okay? Don't worry about the more settings. And next thing you wanna do is you wanna target your locations. Uh, I just usually, depending on the offer, um, I usually just focus on United States, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and United Kingdom. Those are the only ones I focus on. Uh, depending on what language you're targeting or which country your offer is for, you would just change this accordingly, okay? Uh, next thing is you want to select languages. So again, I only want English, so I'm gonna make sure only English is here. If you want to target a different language, you would just click on here and select whatever languages you want to target, okay? so whatever languages. So if you want to target Turkish, you just add this, but I'm not. Audiences, don't worry about that. And next thing you want to do is you want to do your average spend per day. Uh, when you're just starting out, you want to keep this kind of low. I'd leave this around $10 or even just $5. So select a budget that you're happy with spending per day. I'll put 10. And next thing you want to do, what do you want to focus on? Now, there are a few options here. If you have a tracking pixel, this is where you'd enter it right here. We're not going to do that for this video. Uh, we're going to focus just on clicks. We want clicks. And don't worry about setting a maximum uh, click per bid, uh, click cost per bid 
don't worry about that. And you don't need to worry about any of these things here. So just click on save and continue. Okay, the next thing you have to do is set up your ad groups. Uh, this is where you're gonna be putting in all your keywords, okay? So we'll just call this cool handle keywords, I don't know, let's call it that, or hosting. There we go. All right, now it does pull a bunch of keywords for you. You can just use those if you want, or you can enter in uh, keywords here. web hosting and then you just click on update keywords and it'll replace them now if you use an external uh, source for keywords you would just cut and paste them and paste them into this box right here uh, for this video this is fine and you're gonna click on save and continue okay so now we have to actually create the ad okay uh, what you want to do is make sure that your URL that you're using is here you're going to want to enter headline number one, so uh, fast, reliable hosting, oops, I not type today. Uh, 99.9% .9 uptime. Thirty day money back guarantee. Oops. Right. So that's good. Uh, you put in whatever you want for whatever your uh, offer is. It's up to you. I just picked this quickly because, well, I know they do fast reliable hosting and 99.9% .9 uptime they talk about, and they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So I figure that's a good thing. And next thing you want to just add in some descriptive text. Uh, with plans starting at 395 don't I don't know don't miss out and start your online business today all right description two okay so for description two I'll just paste in something I have Fast, reliable hosting you can count on. Host WordPress with a few clicks of your mouse. Put of your mouse. Um, just put on whatever you want here. It all depends what you're trying to market. Uh, what's really important is that you have really good uh, headline one, headline two, and headline three. That's what's going to grab people's attention. And then they'll read through the description maybe and click on. Okay. Once you're happy with that, just click on save and continue. And it's going to review it. Okay, now you just need to take a look and make sure you're happy with everything. It'll give you some suggestions, like to add three ads in your campaign. Uh, you can click on that if you want to fix it. It's up to you. For this uh, video, you don't need to. Uh, it gives you your estimated daily clicks. So based on your budget and your keywords, it's going to tell you how many clicks per day you're going to get. You can go back. You can adjust it and change it. That's fine. What you want to do now is click on Publish. All right, so your ad is pretty much all set up. Uh, one thing you should do right now is just check on the status, click on ads and extensions, ads, and you want to check out the status right here. Uh, it'll probably be under review. Google needs to approve each ad before it'll start showing ads and you'll start getting traffic and stuff to your offer. All right, this can take a little bit of time, but don't worry, be patient. It has to get approved. Uh, one last thing you have to do though, before you can say you're completely done with that is we're going to have to make a bid adjustment. Okay. And to do that, we're going to go down to devices. So find devices, click on devices, and we want to make a bid adjustment on mobile phones and tablets. Okay. This is very important guys. Uh, if you don't do this, you're going to get a ton of traffic that will not convert and it's going to eat up your budget. Okay. People are not as likely when they're sitting on their mobile phone as in when they're in front of a computer with a keyboard and mouse to make a purchase and take out a credit card or whatever, or log into PayPal and make a payment. Okay. So that's why you want to basically limit, uh, you want to remove mobile phones and tablets. And if you do that, you're going to notice that your conversions are going to start to go up. So first thing you want to do is make a big bid adjustment on mobile phones. We're going to click here and we're going to decrease by 100%. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing with tablets by 100% decrease, not increase. Okay, uh, and with that, your ad is all set up and it's ready to go. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today in this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what type of campaigns you had the most success with. I'd love to hear about them. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs it up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me and it helps the channel. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you then.